Ah, the Starlet deigns to arrive early to the arena to perhaps practice in the ring. Where's your entourage? Your agent? Your publicist? Ha ha, very funny. I am indeed known for my humor, and I'm glad to see you managed to stay on the Raw brand. Though can't say I'm pleased to lose Miss Morgan to Miz. Oops. Yes. Oops indeed. It's the captain of the silver screen, Daddy. <laughs> I did look pretty good up there, didn't I? What are you up to, Mick? If there's anyone who understands this journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. <laughs> My fairy godfather? You got that right, Daddy. Dude has done everything there is to do in WWE. Mankind was a monster. Cactus Jack was the most brutal SOB on Earth. And Dude Love, well, Dude is the cat's meow. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via Mix special pixie dust. Hmm. Intriguing. It sure is. Just like you and your star turn. I can relate to that. After all, Dude Love knows a little something about being a star. He's the life of the Bardukey, the center of the universe, the cat's pajamas. Just like you. Lord, have mercy. Yes. Ow. Have mercy. Now that you've had a taste of the good life, you're going to have to fight to stay at the top of the pack. Everybody wants what you got. You can say that again. Everybody wants what you got. So you ready to protect what you have like the international beloved heartthrob I know you are? Even if it means defending against them all at once. You're damn right, Mick. I'm still the coolest cat and the biggest star, and none of these squares can take that from me. Then let's get this part dookie started. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, the Queen!
Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia! Let's go, let's go! From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go! Let's go! from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair!
My, oh my, look at all those cool cats and kittens. That man in the tie-dye sitting back and enjoying the Pardukey is particularly striking. But don't get too comfortable.
Here is your winner, the Queen. I'm glad to see you decided to stick around WWE. Would have hated to lose you to Hollywood. There's more I wanted to accomplish here. Probably more for me to learn too. I mean, you've sure seen a lot in your time here. I am a five-time women's champion. I was actually wondering about some of the stranger things you've encountered. The weird, the otherworldly, the supernatural. Are you sure you want to be asking me about all that? Regal said I should explore everything in WWE. Why not? Of all the ways to become powerful in WWE, the kind of power you're talking about comes with a cost. <laughs> Chill, I'm just asking a question. Some of my favorite superstars in WWE have flirted with or embraced the supernatural. The Undertaker, Finn Balor, Bray Wyatt, you. Even asking is dangerous. You see some of what I'm talking about on TV, sure, but you don't understand how it works. There's a force in WWE, and it's looking all the time for anyone who's open to receiving its gift. Right. Well, thanks for the warning. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll back off then. At least for now. Good choice. I hope you're not still thinking about trying to harness supernatural power around here. You say it so casually. After everything I've been through, like I said before, that type of power comes with a cost. I am thinking about it, though. Regal told me to embrace every opportunity. And if there's something for me to pursue here, I need to see where it leads me. If you're already open to it, there's nothing I can do to stop the forces around here from finding you anyway. But if you're sure, there is something I should give you. I'm sure. Okay, then. There's a physical manifestation of this power, an artifact. We don't know where it comes from, but it came to me and it's still in my possession. Honestly, I've been trying to get rid of it, but it's too dangerous to simply cast aside. A physical manifestation? You've seen the urn, but you haven't seen this. I'll make sure you get it before your next match. Wear it under your gear. This power, it'll open you to possibilities beyond your wildest imagination. Just be careful you don't let it overtake you. bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, the Queen. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. If the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. 
It's time for Indy Cred to be put to the test. The self-proclaimed Hell's Favorite Harlot. And you can see exactly why. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. She came up the hard way and has constantly faced adversity. Worked hard for everything she has, and she's not going to stop now. And the thing about Gigi is she is tenacious, sometimes even vicious, when she's backed into a corner. Trained from a young age, she is hungry to show off what she can do. Looks at the whole women's division and says, bring it on. I'm always excited to see the captain in action, but for some reason, I've got chills tonight. Yeah, there's something in the air. I can't quite put my finger on it. I think we're going to see something special tonight, Corey. Oh! Damage to the hamstrings. Ooh. Up high. Seated bionic elbow, man. Go. Oh. Ooh, right to the leg. She's going up. Top rope here. Perched up top. I mean, knee drop. Dolan's toughness being put to the test. Ah. Uh, Take her head clean off her shoulders. Now Dolan can't stop this momentum. Gigi is running to a roadblock. Boom! What a four. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Rolling elbow. Woo-wee. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. She goes back inside the ropes. The flagship show of all WWE, Monday Night Raw. The red brand has been home to so many sports entertainment moments, and tonight might just create a few more of those. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Now Dolan can't stop this momentum. Gigi has to turn this around and quick. Just hot shot it to the outside. Returning to the ring now. Got the single arm under him, into a nice takedown. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. With crisscross action and what a rolling elbow. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. You can't take much more of this. Not what you want to see by any means. Oh, 
Gigi's in a daze. Could be over soon. Up into the torture rack. Dolan's got to dig deep now. The cover! And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, the Queen! Gigi Dolan processing this loss. Dolan couldn't pull out the win, but I have a feeling she's not going to let... What was that? What do you mean? I beat you. That was that. I don't care about losing. No, I mean, I do care about losing, but there was something off with you in that match. What are you accusing me of? I don't even know, but whatever it was, it wasn't natural. Everything's natural if you let it take you, my darling Gigi. What the heck does that mean? You'll find out, little girl. Your time will come. Okay, now you're just being creepy. Are you trying to make me mad? What's wrong with going mad, Gigi? Madness is intoxicating. Just let go. <laughs> Stop trolling me. I'm getting a rematch. No funny business this time. Commanding the ring and forging her path. The captain! The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Atlanta, Georgia, the Queen! The look of determination on Cap's face speaks volumes, Corey. This is a woman looking to climb all the way to the top of WWE. It's good to have goals, but we're just gonna have to see if she has what it takes to make the climb. I have my doubts.
Here comes everyone's favorite bundle of insanity. And her partner from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. There's so many accolades in Nikki's career. She was even the final 24-7 champion after throwing the title in the trash. Well, the last woman to throw a title in the trash made it to the Hall of Fame, so maybe there's a method to Nikki's madness. Gigi Dolan ready for a fight, as always. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. She made a name for herself as a tag team competitor in NXT. Now on her own, but just as dangerous, has something to prove. Yeah, despite being underestimated and underappreciated, Gigi Dolan plans to change that perception. Trained from a young age, she is hungry to show off what she can do. Looks at the whole women's division and says, bring it on. Meechin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. And... Representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meechin! You know, guys, what I like about Meechin is that she isn't afraid to stand up against injustice here in WWE. Well, you can call it standing up. I call it sticking her nose in other people's business where it doesn't belong. Well, we know she just loves getting in people's faces, and maybe, just maybe, she'll get in your face, Corey. As this tag team action gets underway, I actually have chills in anticipation. Wait a second. Cole, did it just get colder in the arena? I noticed that too. The moment the captain stepped out, it got different, right? Weird. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, and a oof. stop to the gut too. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Connects on the kick. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. The vicious streak of Dolan's being put to the test there. Stomp after stomp. Relentless. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Cap looks like she's trying to end this now. But Gigi's too quick. Not like Gigi to miss that. What the heck? Floating? I don't know what we're looking at. Are you seeing this too, Cole? Yes, I am. We've only seen forces like this a few times before in WWE, and it's never anything good. Gigi taps out and cap for the win. Hey, come on. 
That's a victory, all right, but I don't think the submission is what people are going to be talking about. I, I don't know what to think. I'm going to have nightmares about this match. It's happening, isn't it? I knew it would. How do you feel? Feelings are irrelevant. I could tell that's not what you wanted to say. Focus. I feel scared. This power, it's overwhelming. That's better. The amulet is giving you power, but it latches onto the darkness inside of you, whatever kind it finds. What kind of darkness? darkness? What, what do you, you mean? mean? When it entered me, it found a scared little girl looking for permission to play. Turns out, I was hungry for that release. So that's what I became. What are you hungry for? When you look into your darkness, what do you see? And how do you see yourself? My darkness is me. For even in my purest state, I know I am diseased. The dark paint that covers my face shows that I am more virus than a vermin than a human. With only the simplest of materials covering my body, tattered and torn, the light colored scraps of fabric represent the filth that deep inside. I know that I am. If the darkness of self is what you see, then that is what will overtake you. Are you sure that's the source of the power? Actually, I'm not sure. Look into your darkness again. What do you see? My darkness is older than time itself, from what existed before we had the words to speak of it. What others think is a myth, I know is real. I see myself in the vestments of our oldest ancestors, not the gods on high, but those who have fallen. Gold represents the richness of my strength. From the twisted crown of gilded horns upon my head, to the armor that covers my body. If the darkness of the past is what you see, then that is what will overtake you. Are you sure that's the source of the power? Actually, I'm not sure. Look into your darkness again. What do you see? My darkness comes from the depths of hell, built on the backs of the damned who grovel and scream without hope. I see a cloak of midnight enveloping my body, hiding the horrors my darkness brings forth. And when the cloak is cast aside, I see myself standing tall with power, clothed in deep red, the blood that the screaming masses can no longer bleed. If the darkness of hell is what you see, then that is what will overtake you. Are you sure that's the source of the power? Actually, I'm not sure. Look into your darkness again. What do you see? My darkness comes from the cruel reality of the natural world, neglected for beams of steel. I'll make them remember what birthed us in the first place. I see myself intertwined with the vines of that natural world, in greens and rich grounds, 
Paying homage to what has been cast aside. My head is adorned by equal parts flowers and thorns. Representing the duality of all that is beautiful and cruel. If the darkness of nature is what you see, then that is what will overtake you. Are you sure that's the source of the power? Yes. That's the darkness I feel coursing through me. And I'm ready to give in to it. What happened in my last match was the darkness and the amulet acting on its own. Now that I understand it, I'll be able to harness it. If you say so, there's no turning back now. What in the Lord's name? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, the Queen! The Undertaker, Kane, Bray Wyatt. I thought I'd seen the spookiest corners of the WWE Universe, but I was wrong. This is like nothing we've ever seen before. Whatever Cap was before, whoever she was, is gone. I don't have any vitamins, but I am definitely saying my prayers. Meechin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. And representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meechin! And Meechin really knows how to take care of a problem inside the squared circle. Yeah, the HBIC is looking to neutralize the competition tonight and won't back down until she gets business done. A determined look on her face. She knows how to prove herself in the women's division. I've seen it all in my time here at WWE, but this is one of the most chilling and shocking competitors to ever step foot in a ring. These powers aren't of this world, Cole. I hope Michi knows what she's getting into because it's too late to back out now. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, that could be a knockout blow. The fatigue is setting in for her. Oh. 
precision strike to the back of the neck. She'll take things into the ring. Top rope, putting it all on the line. From the top, look out below. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. And she delivers a vicious suplex. That was a gnarly one. Michi looks dazed. Um, guys, what is she doing? Oh, no, it's happening again. She's floating off the mat. And she comes crashing down. What the heck? Who needs to hook the leg when you can levitate people? And that'll do it. Don't blame the official for being apprehensive after that. I don't think the referee has a choice. I'm getting out of here. Right behind you. Really, guys? <laughs>